switching gears. Mm. Four Chinese nationals will spend their night in police custody after they were arrested by detectives Sunday in Kilimani area after one of them was caught on camera caning a Kenyan employee for allegedly arriving late for work. Well, the four run a restaurant in Kileleshwa and are said to administer corporal punishment on employees who find themselves in the wrong. Mm -hmm. And as Hassan Mugambi reports, police say the Chinese nationals who run the She Wu restaurant have no work permits. What? <laughs> Tuesday, 28th of January this year, and this is how the morning started for Simon Oseko. Two painful strokes of the cane. This is apparently the standard operating procedure here at Ches Wu Restaurant, a Chinese restaurant in Kileleshua area of Nairobi. We find him in his home in the outskirts of Nairobi. Now jobless, he says he was fired after reporting to the police when he was caned. Uh, they don't speak out. So for me, this was too worse. I, it had libidi tu ni amuke. This was so painful. Fast forward to Sunday and the detectives following up on the case arrested four Chinese nationals. The four including the man seen in the footage caning Oseko. Deng Hilan he is in the country on a visitor's visa, working as a chief chef without a work permit. Chang Yuping, whose visitor's visa expired, also working as a chef without a work permit. Semas Oi Kiyang, also working as a chef in the restaurant with an expired visitor's visa and no work permit. And Yu Ling, a holder of a Chinese passport with a valid visitor's visa but no work permit. Sunday morning outside the restaurant, activists up in arms against the alleged mistreatment of Kenyan workers. Amidst the protest, we meet Victor Kagai. He is the one who recorded the clip. He says the disquiet among his colleagues was growing. He is among eight people who have recorded statements with police as having witnessed and experienced the brutality of their boss. Activists calling on authorities to deport those found culpable. Sources privy to the investigations revealed that DCI boss George Kinoti has reached out to the immigration department recommending immediate deportation for those who are in the country illegally. The four who are currently being held at the Pangani police station will be arraigned Monday. And as Chairs One restaurant remains closed and investors await their date with the courts Monday, the action pops the lead to possible harrowing tales of hundreds of Kenyans working under foreign bosses here in the country that go unnoticed and unreported. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV, Nairobi.